Hi. Bright. So I'm once again here with good old Victor Oscar Tango. We are going to go flying today. Uh, taking my friend Britta flying. She is a brand new nursing graduate, just graduated this year, so, um, and also a fellow dog owner. So we thought, hey, let's go, let's celebrate by going for a flight because I need to take off some landings. Just gonna do some, uh, some free flights and stuff. Beautiful day out. It's about 30 degrees out right now, which is lovely, um, but it's gonna make for a pretty warm flight. And um, there is a direct crosswind right across the runway as well, which is not great, but um, you know, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna go up to Dunn Peak, which is over there somewhere. It's a little bit hazy today because of fires and stuff nearby, but all things considered, it should be a pretty decent flight. Hopefully it's not too bumpy. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna do pre-flight and then we're gonna go once she gets here. I did it right this time and, and gave myself enough time to do pre-flight before she gets here so that she's not sitting in the plane and sitting around waiting for me. I did that, did that the right way this time. Anyways, here we go. Sam Luce Radio, Gulf Victor Oscar Tango, run up complete, taxing to hold short of 27. Victor Oscar Tango, uh, Roger Chapman, the call on the runway 27, right on circuit Cessna 152. Uh, two miles south, just coming over the river, transiting over to the north side, it's about 407, 2,200 feet descending. They'll be uh, over the runway in about 30 seconds, and 17 to the west, inbound 09, a King Air estimating in five minutes. Uh, Roger, we've got the 152 in sight, and we'll line up for the immediate. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Victor Oscar Tango, check the helicopters, just about to uh, go by the tower here, they're uh, about 500 feet of AGL. That's the site, Victor Tango, all uh, short delay on 27. Roger. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Tiger, you put in the right downwind departure, then up the north Thompson? Oh, that's an affirmative. Yep, right downwind. Victor Oscar Tiger, Roger, check the 152 mid downwind. They're going to extend off to the east uh, for the King Air to land. Uh, check that. I'll be, hopefully be able to see them once I make the turn. Victor Oscar Tango. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Whew. We'll probably be able to just catch a glimpse of the dog park right before we turn. Okay. Zulu Pothaka, what is your position now? I just over the river junction to a group of micro. So I don't know if you can see it up ahead, but the tallest mountain you can barely just like barely see it in the clouds there. Yep. That's where we're going. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so fun. How are you at reading maps? Not good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, because here's where we are, but you'd be like, I don't know yeah. what it is. What do you normally do when you're not studying? I don't know, like nothing. I'm like, I need to like figure out like how to have a life again now that I'm not in school. All the little towns along here. Well, actually, you can kind of tell like um, I don't know if you remember. I don't know however many years ago, like ten years ago, something the big barrier fire. I wasn't here around then. Yeah, I don't know if you remember hearing about no. it, but it was like this massive fire. But okay. that's why it, the trees look weird below us because oh, okay. they're not, and they're all super young. Right. But yeah, it was like the big one of the biggest fires the province has ever seen started oh, like really? just up the street from here. Oh my god. Yeah. Seems so close, we're like only halfway there. Okay. <laughs> All right, now for the exciting part. Let's see just how good a picture we can get you here. Yeah. Hi, it's Paul from the future. One thing worth noticing here as we approach Dun Peak is that you'll notice that uh, there's a small layer of cloud forming above uh, the mountains. This is a problem because obviously I had to be pretty high up there to uh, get over the mountain, uh, but don't want to go so high that I fly in the clouds and get into trouble with clouds. I'm technically not allowed, even allowed to fly near clouds, but we did get away with it in the end. The clouds did dissipate and everything was fine. Huzzah. Traffic in the vicinity of Little Fort, Cessna 172, Gulf Victor Oscar Tango, 9,500 feet over Choo Chua, uh, north eastbound, doing a clockwise circuit around Dun Peak. Traffic in the vicinity of Little Fort, Cessna 172, Gulf Victor Oscar Tango.
I did forget, it's going to be a little bumpy over the mountains. Okay. Because uh, any wind kind of gets shot up the mountains and hits yeah. us and we just get popped around. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah. Are you feeling everything good? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Oop. If you do start to feel a little funny, let me know. Sounds good. <laughs> it's okay. It's always okay to turn back. Yeah. I think I'll be good. All right, sweet. Yeah. Looks like maybe there's fires over there. Uh, I think there is, actually. It looks like one. Yeah. There was one... I did check earlier because the thing we have to watch out for is fires, yeah. but there is one up north somewhere, so oh, yeah, okay. it's definitely, it looks like a fire. Cameras never do it justice. <laughs> it really doesn't, eh? Well, well, we can officially see, our see, see the dog park from here, too. <laughs> From here? Yeah. Yeah. It's in the haze over there somewhere. Yeah. We can say that we saw it. Hi, Paul from the future again. Uh, one thing I guess I should say at this point is that uh, my front-facing cam didn't really get very good views of the mountain because the front-facing cam was on the left side of the plane and the mountain was on the right side of the plane because obviously I wanted to make sure that uh, Britta could see the views and stuff. Um, so yeah, the, most of the views that I got of the mountain were kind of out the side from the face cam, which it wasn't very good. But you'll have to just take my word for it, it was lovely. Back to the video. Not exactly the Rockies, but it's about as about the mountainous yeah. as we get around here. Yeah. It's still gorgeous. It's very pretty up here, yeah. yeah. Have you done a lot of like commercial flying, like going, like flying? Um, right after high school, I went to Thailand. Oh, very cool. And Vietnam and Bali. Yeah. For three months, so I did quite a bit of flying, but that was the first time I ever went on a plane, and I right. went to Thailand. Yeah. Um, That's cool. Yeah. So I'd like to travel more. It's just like so expensive. <laughs> it really and I is. Have yeah. Rent and bills to pay. Like when I'm right out of high school, I just like still live with my parents. Right. So. Can I take a picture. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea where I'm looking. Where's the? Oh. The down. Uh, up there. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't even know if you can tell with the sunglasses, anyways. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You don't happen to be a musician or a singer or anything, do you? No. Just checking. Why? Well, because I have like a gang of songs that I'm, I'm, I'm basically always looking to do collabs with, like musical collabs with people. Yeah. And so I end up writing these songs that like, I have no business singing. <laughs> okay. So I'm just like, oh, hey, do you, oh, you're a singer? Really? Oh, oh, yeah, you should, yeah. I should hear you sing. You should yeah. sing for me sometimes so I can hear what you sound like. So I know what your voice sounds like so I can make sure I have a song that would fit your voice. Oh, so I can there you sing go. For. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't really have, like, an artistic bone in my body. Like, that's why I'm in school, because I'm good at school and not Gotcha. Art. It seems like it's got more hazy since we left. Okay, I think it has, too. Yeah. <laughs> you can still see the mountain, but I was like, I, I wonder if you can, like, maybe not even see it from Kamloops now. Pro probably not. All right, I'm going to call him and tell him we're coming. Kamloops Radio, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Golf Victor Oscar Tango, Kelsey. Golf Victor Oscar Tango is about a mile north of Hefley, 6,300 feet descending, coming in for a full stop. Victor Oscar Tango, squawk ID, runway 27, wind calm, altimeter 29075. Uh, Roger, we'll plan three here for 27. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, ID, Roger, runway 27. I guess we should actually go down to the ground at some point. I was like, oh, we'll just do a nice gentle descent, nice yeah. gentle descent. Oh, crap, we're here. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, down, down, down. <laughs> Victor Oscar Tango would like to roll for echo of no conflict. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, come back to your discretion and confirm you'd like your flight phone closed. Uh, yes, please, Victor Oscar Tango. My phone is closed. Thanks very much. All right, windows open since it's 30 degrees again. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice about being high up is it was like a natural air conditioning. Yeah. That was a good landing. That's pretty smooth. Thank you very much. Not gonna lie, hit the cheat a little bit, but we'll gloss over that. 
Well, yeah, so that was the flight. It's about a month later now as I film this. I am at the dog park that we can see the mountain from. Can't really see it behind me because it's really bright, but there it is. There, oh, just missed it. And yeah, and so that was that, really. I just wanted to show that you could actually see it from the dog park that we all kind of meet up at for our dogs to run around. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. So anyway, really. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. There's a trick for when you're landing on grass that right before you touch down, you add power back in oh. to kind of help, like, just kind of slow your descent a little bit to get so you can land a bit more softly. And last time when I went flying with Diane, yeah. I just bashed into the ground. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to do that this time. Just, you know. Yeah.